I'm just finding my own. A section of it. What's up, replay? <clears throat> okay, she'll take care of it. What's up, Camel Girl? Let's see if Camel Girl has the same story as last time. Now Janelle is back. Camel Girl is so weird. I don't know if she's a bot, but I'm about to block her. She always come in here talking about all these people she knows. <laughs> You're so weird. You're hard to read. You're hard to read, Camel Girl. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, um... I know, I'm kind of teasing you. Because you always come in here talking about all your, all your family and shit. And you act like I know your family. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's your friend again? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think I sense who you're talking about again. What's her name again, hon? Nadia. She talked behind your back. What? Okay, well, here's the deal about Nadia. Can we be real? She's going to regret it if she doesn't already. A lot of times people immediately regret what they did wrong and they like know it was bad, but they're too small to come up and like, you know, make things right with you and stuff. You want a real friendship with her and are always dreaming about her. Oh, that's nice. Listen, if you have those kinds of impulses and welcome uh, Tesla, if you have those kinds of impulses, man, you should always follow a righteous dream that is trying to instruct you to do something good. So, I mean, if it's about repairing a relationship, even if you didn't cause the wrong, you know, like... Man, she would probably be blown away if you don't, you should approach her with love. You shouldn't confront her even. If she's talking shit about it, just be like, look, man, like, I would never do something like that to you. And I know that you did this and it's okay. And I still love you, but you know, you just walked away. Well, it's hard to go through all that. Now, first of all, it's, it's probably nothing personal. Okay. It's probably just like her thing. So know this is just her thing, you know? So always know that like, uh, she probably, like, if you if you came to her with love, man, that would just blow her away. Yeah, Tesla is beeping and bopping. He's, like, processing the information like a great computer. Do I talk fast? I'm just trying to get it out there, dude. I'm just trying to get it out there as fast as it'll go so that everyone gets it right quick and people can get more. What's up, Dan? That's just my point of view. Let's hear from Dan's point of view. Dan's here. Hey, Dan. Let me slow it down for you. Let me slow it down for Tesla. Okay, let me slow it down for you. Extend the olive leaf. That's right. I just said that she drops it. Dude, that's right. Jesus is we, Dan. That's what you taught me. That's right, Dan. I'm glad I could teach you that, man. That's what the Bible taught me, man. He said, hey, look, it's weed out here. Did you Have you been reading? Dude, I mean, if you like give a good key like that, and then you like look at the shit, it's like drenched in oil, right? Have you looked at it lately? Check that out, man. Actually, read what it has to say. Yeah, the Christos is the oil, right? Matthew is crying. Oh, no. Why? So, dude, um, is that a water pipe? No, it's just, uh, oh, no, this is the candle. Candle, see that? Candle. And this is the pipe. You know, this regular old, regular old pipe. Yeah, you shoot. Jesus is we, right? His girlfriend broke up. Oh, that's terrible. We'll keep him in our thoughts. So the anointing, right? Yeah, Yeshua is the Christos, the anointing itself, the anointing oil. He's got weed in it. And like if you see his testimony in the temple, he's like, look, I am the good news. And this testimony in the temple right here, I'm the fulfillment of the prophets. And this hearing right here, here's here's victory. You know what I'm saying? Then they're like, yeah, we love that, Jesus. I don't know, Brandon, no. And, uh, but then that means he was calling them all hypocrites for not anointing with oil, you see. That's why they wanted to murder him that day. That's why they murdered the guy in the story. And that's why we tell the story so we don't get murdered. So we can just go out here and do some truthful things. And, um, and uh, have uh, some type of, um, some type of uh, uh, grace provided. Because we've collected all this truth together. It's like, here's a big fucking pile of truth, alright? You deal with that like we do. And then we'll see how our, everybody's hearts feel. At least let's bring your heart into the truth of the matter. And then you fucking act. Friends caught him. They did, they did, right? I am hot, Farben House. You're hot for knowing that. You're hot for knowing that. Welcome to Periscope. Welcome to Periscope. So look, man, check out that testimony, dude. Also, Dan's point of view, bro. Medicine now, man. We're coming with it, right? So, 
I just found some people in Portland on Periscope who are like giving out medicine, you know, so that's kind of local to where I'm at. I'm trying to like get the local people together. Also, the ONAT KM is coming out. And this is like local, but also we're developing the model in Jack Herre on Jack Herrera's farm for like the Americas in the world. And I'm trying to work in coordination and collaboration with like all the spiritual traditions who are going to honor this. So like the Tewahadu Orthodox, uh, Ethiopian Orthodox people who are like out in Brooklyn and everywhere and shit. Like everybody needs resources to make more medicine. Like the cities have much room for the canopies of righteousness. What's up, James? There's much room in the cities for the canopies of righteousness, you guys. Need every neighborhood to have their own righteous alchemists. You know what I'm saying? Providing. Bringing down heaven, you guys. Stepping into the great city. Returning to Eden. With all the technologies at hand. James, bro, we're calling out all the technologies. On the local and it's seen on the global and it inspires, dude. And the logos fucking travels instantly. And we all fill it together and we all go there. That's what's going on. Victory, dude. 22, the last chapter in the last book, dude. It's the whole story right there. Alpha and the Omega right there, dude. Tells you everything you need to know. The dog walks in. Then what happens? Whoa. No, don't do that to the owl, dude. Dude, the owl takes off, man. The owl takes off? Dude, have you heard the legends of the owl, dude? The owl, like, picks the dog's brain out. Like, when the dog is, like, and when the wolf is giving everybody trouble, dude, the, the owl goes and picks the wolf's brain out and eats it. What's up? What's up, Renette? What's up, Chinola? I just wanted to, uh... Oh, take this moment at the end of the day. I'm still gonna go for a while. Probably still gonna go for a while. But, um, I just want to take this moment to be with you guys and to put it out there. Look, we got full disclosures tagged here. What's up, uh, uh, EJ? I'll just call you EJ if that's okay. We got full disclosures tagged. And we've got ask. It's the very next hashtag. So go ahead and ask, you guys. Janilla, hey, and you know what, Janilla? Oh, look, the wolves come through. You see, I was just speaking of wolves. You see what happens? Dude, there's some real stuff going on. What's up, wolf? You guys, um, Janilla? Okay, so if you get on that camp soul, I'm so glad these guys gave you that stuff. It's really awesome. Eat as much of it as you can, okay? Even if you feel bad, go ahead and eat a little bit more if you can. Um, it's really cool that they did that. Okay? And what I'm saying is also, homie... That is what Brother Dink wants to do. Like, these guys have the resource because the medical marijuana stuff came through and all that. And, like, that's good that they're doing that, you know? And I'm saying, like, we need to do more of that. And they don't need to be limited by the restrictions on the medical marijuana program because I'm coming through with the clear testimony that that is garbage. Like, any restriction, I'm sorry if you created the medical framework and now you've got the regulatory system and now there's new jobs created and now we have to sustain that. No, no, no. What people need is their free fucking birthright with no uh, bullshit about it. Okay? So... Why do I bring up uh, Jesus is weed among these people? Because I've done a lot of, of legal work, legal work, and I petitioned for Measure 80, which was a, a better law than we're dealing with right now. And uh, the, the medical laws have only gotten worse since I've been around this area. And because legally, legally, Jesus is weed. Legally. This is why I want these people to know. Legally, you have no restrictions on your grow or on your production. And legally, you don't have to answer to anybody except for your brother. Who needs the shit? Legally, Jesus is weed. Why? Because legally, it's the word. Legally, it's the law. Legalize, Jesus is weed. That's why. You watch scopes? Cool, man. I make scopes. We scope around here. What's up, Awesome Star? Awesome Star. I see you're on Facebook, so am I. Look, Jesus is weed. Weed. We're coming out with the full revelation. All right. Check the very last page, the very last chapter, the very last book called Revelation. It's all about Jesus' weed. Check out his identity, Yeshua the Christos, and you'll find it's weed oil. The anointing oil has got weed in it. And they say that's his identity. Who do you say that I am? The Christos? His name was Joshua. His identity was the Christos. Huh? 
So that's what we're talking about, bringing it out. You know what I'm saying? Bring it out only like Jesus, only like Moses, all the drugs, but specifically the tree of life, the mostest. And, uh, but all the, all the drugs that the alchemist might cook in righteousness. Okay. The righteous priesthood in your neighborhood. That's what I'm talking about Bronson. So I'm talking about Bronson. Look, that's all I got to say about it. Damn, I'm on whatever strain you're smoking. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm on that Jesus Christ strain. I'm on that JC. I'm on that JC Kush. I'm on that JC Kush, bro. Where you at? I'm on that Medicine Owl. You heard me? <laughs> NorCal, I'm on that Medicine Owl, bro. I'm on that JC Kush. I'm on that Dank. I'm on that Brother Dank. You understand? See, I'm on that Brother Dank life path. Talking about Jesus' weed. And coming out, uh, leading the rainbow prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Just lead, uh, at the at the head of that shit. For the, uh, in the Native American culture. Uh, consolidating Jesus' weed for all the Christian community. <laughs> and as a perspective on all the other uh, perspectives. As it was originally intended and put down. As clear to this day as it is. You know what I'm saying? What's up, uh, Ed? And I'm doing this in Northern California or Oregon. Like, I'm on the West Coast right now, so, like, that's where I'm acting. And I'm talking about Jack Herrera's farm. You're on that headband, and your bubba's wearing a band. And man, everybody's on that headband nowadays. Man, headband is so hot. Headband is so hot, huh? It's good, too. I'm just an old, original OG Kush kind of guy, dude. I like that good OG, man. Not that fancy fucking Skywalker, terpene, weirded out shit. Just give me that good OG, brah. The headband's all right, though. Anyway, dude, look, where'd you get that fucking headband? You on that medical program, dude? How about, uh, oh, Hansel smokes it, so you like it? Is that what happened to it? I don't even know, I'm not that into pop culture if Hansel's not your homie. It must be a character on a, a dramatic portrayal on the, uh, on the television or something. But, fuck any restrictions. Oh, Zoolander? Oh, okay, okay, you see it? I figured it was something like that, but like, dude, as far as quoting movies, dude, I've only seen Zoolander like once, so I can't really get to that sometimes, but I can tell you, dude, I've been reading the Bible, dude, that's what I'm getting at, and what I'm saying is Victory Gardens, dude, in NorCal, and uh, Jesus' Weed, if anybody got anything to say about it, but pretty much I'm giving you the right right now, uh, if anybody has any questions, I'll explain it for them, and you just go and grow weed and be the alchemist in your community, bruh, with no restraints, there's room for canopies in our cities, bruh. And I'm, I'm br we're bringing the models out on Jack Herrera's farm with ONAC KM. We're, we're breaking out the models like this year. And this is going to be across the Americas, across the world. You get it? So whatever little medical marijuana programs and all this stuff is going on. <laughs> okay. Uh, but we're going to be doing this shit. And you're, you're free to do whatever you want. Does that make sense, bro? Okay. That should make sense to some some folks. Medical, thanks for making fun of something I'm not even involved with. Um Well no, okay, okay, let me not go there. I'm just saying, how about the how about the cops still even being a thing? Oh wait, did you guys legalize that? Or you got some frameworks coming anyway? There's gonna be some big stupid regulatory system across the state of uh, California, and everybody thinks medical is a joke. And all that. Here's the deal, dude. I'm fucking. Uh, I'm gonna be wielding this shit in righteousness. Like if you don't understand that weed is a sacred thing or whatever, that's okay. If you don't understand it has medical components, that's okay. If you just want to get high, that's okay. You know why? Because you have an endocannabinoid system. And it needs supplementation. And as a as a wise, righteous alchemist, dude, everybody needs their daily dose, whether they know it or not. So I mean, you're gonna get your fucking daily dose. And if you want to grow in like knowledge and understanding, then like that's for you, or it's not, or it's just for me to worry about. It's for me to take on. It's for you to enjoy. But any fucking worries or constraints, dude, on your life, dude, are over now. You know what I'm saying? So you on that wreck shit, dude? Good, man. Fucking blow it out there. You're trying to say you're enlightened yet to prescribe to an archaic control system. Here's the deal, bro. I'm not saying I'm enlightened. All I'm saying is I've read the book that you're calling the Archaic Control System, and I've seen the Archaic Control System that actually blasphemes the book and uh, has, has um, given you a false uh, a misunderstanding of what the book actually does say, which is Jesus' is weed, and which is, is ultimate freedom in that, 
because it's admittedly a symbol and there's no hocus pocus about it. The shit was only written about 2,000 years ago. It had to bear the weight of stoic philosophers and shit. There's some rationality involved, bruh. Parodied a million times by... Oh my god, dude. You know what the big fucking con is? That fucking repeat, dude. That fucking cassette. Seriously, dude. That fucking cassette. Dude, I'm not talking about murdering people in crusades. Like, that's what the Bible says to do, bro. I'm not talking about, uh... Hiding the, uh, the shit through a counterfeit religion, dude. I'm not talking about whitewash shit from the original Ethiopic fucking article that is the cradle of all civilization that your masons and all that shit actually comes from, that Christianity comes from. Um, maybe, I'm, maybe I got to the fucking root of the shit. Maybe I got to the root of the shit I did. And um, maybe I have a different perspective than what you're seeing. Um, even though I acknowledge what you're saying is absolutely true. I still have a still a still further perspective on things. Bro, bro, the Bible the Bible is a mythos, bro. People who say that the Bible says that the world's four thousand years old don't know what the fuck they're talking about, dude. The Bible doesn't say that. That's people who read the Bible who believe that the world is only four thousand years old against all reason. And fucking uh the Bible says actually that the new covenant is like you'll know shit to be true. If it's true. And if it's bullshit, you'll see it's fucking bullshit. And you're not going to be tricked by some bullshit. Okay? So don't be tricked by some bullshit, dude. Don't be tricked by a fucking uh, a mind control program that is only a fucking response against its best uh, threat. Its, all, its whole being is, is a response to the best threat to it. Which is a, just a, a counterfeit system of the original article, bro. Which, uh, which is about weed healing, it's about, uh, it's about intentional healing, and this shit is in the science as 100% effective, and the shit lines up. Because I've looked at the science, I've looked out into the world, I've, I've uh, surveyed the literature. Why do every, you're trying to disprove it again, why do every single religion follow the same old, same old celestial-based bullshit system? Well, bro, how about every religion doesn't really do that, man? How about there's a new covenant or whatever that's like beyond a religion that's just a statement on all that that you should probably consider? Because, yes, it acknowledges. Why? Because all of the, we stand on the tradition of our fathers that work for us, dude. We use the technology, okay? If it works for us, we keep track of the stars because we got to know what the fuck day it is, maybe because it's going to get cold soon. Okay? So there's the wisdom of the ages that is always fucking uh, it's the, uh, everlasting truth, right? So the everlasting truth of the new covenant comes to the fucking rational sense, dude. It says, look, actually, it's all about weed. Okay, well, that's, well, sweet tarps, dude, that's cool, man. Is that going to be your salvation in real terms, man? Or is that just nonsense, man? It's cool to, like, uh, just create nonsense and have fun for a while, but eventually, like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? And so what I'm saying is, like, I've looked into the matter. Your salvation will, okay. Your salvation will come. Okay, what I'm saying, man, is you need to be ready, dude. You need to be ready to receive your salvation. Actually, when you die, no, man, no, man. I'm saying you need to receive your salvation. You need to create your salvation now, dude. You need to create it now. I don't know what's going to happen when you die, but you have an opportunity for salvation now. <laughs> okay, you're on that trip. That's cool, man. That's cool. Have fun with that trip for a while, man. I hope you make it. Because there's no afterlife. No, dude, everybody's going to taste death. And nothing is guaranteed outside of this life, dude. Who? Or why are you trying to... Here's my fucking problem with you, dude. You think you know what I believe, and you're not even hearing anything I'm explaining. Like, you're not even really asking me to explain. I'm just trying to maybe give you some light, but you have no ear for it, and you think you already know everything. Or you're just amusing yourself, but you're really closing yourself off to some important information. At least receive, like, a, a little bit of light, dude, because you should. All that dark trip is just a fucking mind control program. And it's fun for a while, and there is some aspects of the darkness where, like, yeah, like, Tool's a cool band, right? Okay, well, so did Jesus, dude. So did Jesus Christ, dude. Don't be stupid, man. Don't be stupid. Read the book, man. Don't be stupid. Read the book. It's sick. Yeah, Jesus Christ is calling them murderers and shit in the temple, dude. Because Jesus is weed, bro. Jesus is the revelation of all this. Jesus is the light that you're talking about. Jesus is the fucking light against the sickness. He's the literal med. He's the medicine itself. He's weed, literally. And his energy medicine, which is in the science, which you should look at, which is 100% effective. It's just thinking about the result that you want, and it's like uh, it's 100% effective against cancer and shit in the laboratories. So maybe what your mind does actually does create reality. I mean, that's what I'm telling you. 
if you want to eliminate cancer in a laboratory model, you think about the test subject without cancer, and then they don't have cancer anymore, bro. So if you're going to think about your death and your darkness, bro, what do you think is going to manifest in the world? IJS. Is this making sense to anyone? You guys stop me when I start making sense. You guys let me know. Well, I mean, it's like, uh, yeah, but, um, oh, oh, so you're into it. Okay, well, that's where you want to give your energies. That's always cool, right? It's always good to meet one of these ones. Well, dude, it's like, to a certain extent, like, um, if you're forever damned, dude, like, uh, I really should waste no time on you, nor, uh, you know, would it do me any good to, like, consider, like, you know, trying to, like, save your soul or whatever, that's not, that's not the thing, like, you have to make a choice. But you also have to know that the possibility is there and the option is there, and a lot of people who choose darkness might not know that some of their other options. Which is fine, dude, but, I mean, you have to at least admit that uh, there is, uh, there are, what is it, uh, there's like hires, and then there's lesser beings, right? There's like higher things, and there's lower things, right? So like, don't fret with my soul, all my life energy. Okay, bro, that's cool, that's cool. What I'm saying is, bro, dude, um, you're welcome in life, Okay. And now there is some darkness in life, but like there really no longer is there any room for spiritual night, dude, in my book. And so there still will be night, dude. There still will be. How about this, man? How about this? Check this out. Try this on. There still are fucking tornadoes that fucking go through the landscape in like uh, in the near distance and shit. Like you can feel the wind off the fucking tornado, bro, just destroying everything in its path. And uh, it's just ripping everything apart, dude. And it, it just fucking passes by. Is that enough for you? And it fucking absolutely annihilates everything in his pattern. You see the fucking... And then, like, the... No, you got me wrong. I keep talking about my darkness. Uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to come through. I'm trying to come through. I know. I see your full life. That's why you're even listening to my bullshit right now. But, um... Happiness. Okay, these are good. These are good. I don't mean to misread you either. Also, like, uh, I, I am reading into you more than I should. You're totally right. Um... But what I, what I want to, what I, the, the, the option, okay, the possibility I want to express here is, um, you know, after death, there's probably nothing. Like, when you, when you, when you die, uh, you need to receive redemption while you're alive. That's all I'm saying, dude. Like, let your fucking light shine. That's all I'm saying. It's okay to do that. And we need it out here. That's really what I'm saying. Let your light fucking obliterate. And let the fire burn what fire burn. Because it is good. Just said I don't agree with your Ouija skit, it does mean you can't dance. Oh yeah, yeah. Well it's mostly for legalities, dude. Mostly like even if you even if you never heard this is a, the only reason I know this shit, dude, is because I read. That's the only reason, dude. I don't believe anything except that as a as an excellent reader, it reads perfectly true as a story. Okay? As just a true story, as a story can be true, right? Okay, then. Okay, that's all I'm saying. It's a fucking story, and it's true, and it's good to talk about because it makes some good points. If you were familiar with the story, if you were familiar with the tradition and truth, it's worth, it's a good time. It's a good old time to fucking bring up, and it's a powerful tool for victory, dude. Like, if you want to bring more light into the world, and if you're ready for the program for victory, like, uh, that's a good tool. Um, not for any bullshit reason, just because it is rational, and it is real, and it is scientific and shit. And it's not hocus pocus, dude. I'm just saying, I've compared it against the most modern, cutting edge science, and it's all providing the same testimony that happens to be in the Bible. And you don't have to read it, I don't care. We'll still cook them drugs. Uh, we'll still cook them drugs for all of humanity, dude. Am I selling something on our website? Um, okay, so basically, I'm just like putting the word out just like I'm doing, dude. I'm like bringing the medicine to the people. You can donate at, at paypal.me backslash brother dank. But I'm stepping into the ministry essentially in order to be able to provide the testimony, dude. This testimony. And so, what does this entail? You know, we do ceremony, dude. We just, we, it, 
there's pagans involved, you know, there's Shiva devotees and everybody is involved, dude. There's uh, I'm the medicine owl in the Native American church, okay? I just happen to be learned in these things. And I'm taking them all back for glory, dude. So what are you in a metal band or something, dude? Let's do a show. <laughs> I do that shit too, dude. You look like a, you look like a, a, a metal rocker, dude. You look like you can turn your amps like way the fuck up and loud at the concert and it hurts. So I'm up for that, dude. I'm up for that. I'm up for turning the guitars really loud. Uh, and, uh... I'm up for that. You're a married attorney. Oh, cool, man. Well, the reason I bring up Jesus' weed is is for legal reasons, dude. And it, it was only, honestly, dude, the Gospels and the Acts of the Apostles and the, the Book of Romans is a legal document and shit. The epistles and shit are legal documents filed in court. They are like... Like, normally you get, like, a, a, a stoic philosopher who would file uh, an essay or something with the court. It's, like, three pages long, handwritten. Very expensive. The fucking epistle to the Romans or whatever is, like, fucking 25 pages long. You know, the most expensive document ever produced. You know what I'm saying, bro? The spirit of the law, this shit comes from the Bible, dude. Like, we swear on the Bible in court. And the law society is seems to be crooked as fuck. I don't know what it's like being in it. But it seems like one third of it's just totally fucking crooked, and one third of it's like sees it's fucking crooked, but it's still trying to do the right thing, and then one third of it's just kind of just doing their thing, kind of more obliviously. But I also see like even Bill Clinton talking about what the definition of the word "the" is. I mean, it breaks down into fucking linguistics and semantics and shit. They are only false restrictions. No, dude, you have to take each book for its thing, man. There's no restrictions on the abundance, dude. It doesn't call for this. No one's in control but you, dude. How about that? Anything that tells you how to live is poison. Bro. Okay, if there was nothing that told you how to live, you would have no intuitive signs in nature, okay? You would have no uh, wisdom of the living generation that has collected wisdom over the generations to maybe tell you not to eat this mushroom, it'll kill you, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Should we do away with all instruction and fucking all advisement from universe? Should we do away with it all? And, uh, and just, um... <laughs> It's kind of boring if you're not like aware and working at it. Um, but I don't see these things as limiting. Like I'm willing to receive information. I'm willing to take input. You know, I'm willing to receive external input at some point. I'm okay with that. Return to nature. Yeah, we humans are evil. Fuck with our laws, dude. The law is evil, dude. It's admitted in the word. Come on, man. We're beyond this law, dude. We're on the highest law. Um, which is the law of nature, yeah, the, as animals and shit, a return to Eden, a return to the garden. Come on, man. Are you a lawyer? Are you an attorney, man? Are you an attorney? You should check out the Bible. <laughs> real talk, dude, real talk. Real talk, dude. I'm bringing up Jesus' weed because next is just going to come out in court and I'm going to explain it. You really scrape? What's scrape mean? What's that do? What's a scraper? Weird, dude. Weird. Weird job, man. Weird job description. I mean, there's other ways to put that. I mean, you should have followed me by now. I'm pretty sure I followed you already. I'm pretty sure this is periscope peaking. And that this is a pinnacle of periscope. It's like the most high. It's a high point. Dude, I mean, I may actually surprise you fucking breaking out the healing of the nations and the end of every curse. And fucking, uh, I may actually, uh, I may actually impress you when I'm fucking dumping buckets of fucking weed oil on everybody's head. Like the Bible says I should. And I'm doing it in his name and saying, Jesus Christ, while I'm doing it. 
I may impress you then. Yeah, this may be the fucking Alpha and the Omega fucking manifesting all right now in everlasting glory and more and more and better and better, like beyond comprehension. This might be the promise. <laughs> and uh and the victory itself, dude. It might it might just be that. Concentrate on the weed, dude. Ask ask the weed. Ask the spirit medicine. Ask the spirit guide, dude. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for receiving. Thank you for giving. Thanks for the exchange here. Okay, I also see Tammy's here. I'll follow Tammy. You separated? Don't be estranged. Hey, Courtney Reed. Tell me if you guys are here. I just gave you guys shout outs. Tell me you're alive. Tell me you're alive, you guys. Tell me, tell me. Say hi, hi. Heart, heart. Do something. Sign of life. Sign of life. Hello. Earth to Periscope. Tammy Middleton. Earth to Courtney Reed. Earth to Courtney Reed. Earth to Tammy Middleton. Check one, two. Test one, two. Uh, last call, last call, last call for signs of life. Call for signs of life, last call. That's cool. I like that. I like that shot. I like that shot right there. That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. This is a cool shot. Make sure you get all your business options. Make sure you get them all. Make sure you consider all your business options. You guys, we're just chilling in here. Why don't you uh, check out the title of the scope? Why don't you check out the title of this scope? Uh, and dude, there's hashtags on it. At this point, I'm just floating. At this point, I'm just floating, you guys. I'm just floating in, in air. That's what we're doing. This point is floating. Look, I'm just soaring like the eagle, you guys. But let's check the hashtags in the scope, shall we? Let's check the hashtags. Am I high? I don't know. Once you ask, once you hashtag ask, there's full disclosures given here. We're not gonna. We're not going to uh, withhold. We're not gonna withhold it from you. Okay, buddy. So. Here we all are. Oh, wait a minute, let's do this. Here we all are. High on lift. Nice. Nice. Is that one of your business options? Let me follow you. Let me follow you. Am I your first follower? What's that about? Oh, no, you have 12 followers. Flowers, business, options. Cool, man, cool, man. You've, you've got a lot of options in your domains, right? There's a lot of optional, there's a lot of options in your domains. You're new, well, welcome. Welcome. Uh, you've come to the right place. I mean, there's really uh, there's not a lot more valuable content on this entire platform. I must say, this is a Periscope peaking. This is a pinnacle of Periscope, and this is a most high is a high point. Okay, and I mean, we bring it out all day long. You're like, uh, you feel like getting a lot of value. You know, I mean, honestly, this is exceptional, exceptional content is going on right here, and. I mean, you should share this with your 17 followers because they would all really appreciate this content right here. And uh, really, but we break out some valuable, valuable content involving free, freely given for the healing of the nations and the end of every curse, you guys. Like Jesus' weed type shit. You know, like the manifesting tools. Like, here we go. And uh, there's like a PayPal me link. You know, PayPal me backslash brother dank, which you can bless this ministry because we're coming with the free Madison models for the world. With no restraints and no limitations on the abundance, you guys. Victory Gardens in every neighborhood because every city has plenty of room for the canopy of righteousness. And there's plenty of alchemists in every neighborhood. <laughs> Global cooling, this is it, man. Jesus is weed, man. Grow the canopy, dude. We'll cool out. We'll warm up. We'll do whatever we have to do, man. Just let fucking nature do its thing according to the wisdom of nature. Let humanity flourish through the wisdom of humanity according to nature. And then we won't need 
Uh, we won't need to spray the, the air down with any of these things or blah, 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 or make technological fixes or make weaponized anything. No longer will there be... You see? Because Jesus is we, literally, and we're going to keep saying it and doing it until uh, until we've had enough of hearing it and we see it and we be it and it is uh, the more prevalent uh, mainstay reality experience. CNails.com is also where Brother Dank has a dot com as well. Don't smoke that Bama. What do you what's wrong what is what is Bama? Is that some drug? Is that a strings? Particular strings. That must be a drugs. I'm not familiar with that term. So listen, business options. This is what we do here. Um, we receive each one, you know, with the full disclosure, the true testimony, uh, the complete revelation, you know, the um, the alpha and the omega, you know, the true testimony for each one that each one may receive, that each one may know, that each one may grow, that each one may act, and that each one. May force his way. End times are here, dude. The times are upon us, dude. The whole thing, all the trumpets have sounded. The first one they heard, the first one, ain't, this is going to be, might as well have been the last one, okay? Because once you're aware that the end times, this is this generation of the living and shit, dude, it's like we're all forcing our way into the kingdom, dude. Like right now, right now, right now, we are poised, like with all the information shit out and the tools at hand. Do you understand that the apostles did three things, man? Tell me if you're ready for this. Heart me if you're ready for this, dude, because this is like the true, the true valuable content we're talking about. And I don't know if um I don't know if Bronson's back with me, but here's like my basic point. And you know the the, the Orthodoxy uh, Church uh, Christianity first few centuries there, you know they had to appeal. They had certain political weight in the world. All these little religious sects and shit like John the Baptist had his clique or whatever, you know. And the pagans had their thing, you know. And the the, the state has its thing and all this, right? And so these things vie for political cloud in the world, you guys, in real terms. You know, it's like hearts and minds and all this. This shit is real, okay? So, what you need to comprehend, man, is that the true testimony of the Christian word, technology, right, is like a powerful and potent force in the world. Uh, and the people of righteousness are, you know, destined, like this is our destiny and our birthright victory, you know what I'm saying, is in this testimony, is in this truth, okay? That's all right. The haters will let them continue to hate. Dude, just look at the Revelation 22, the last one. Let the haters continue to hate. Let them just continue to dog it down. And meanwhile, we're going to rejoice in the great city. And that's what's up, dude. So, what does this entail, dude? The apostles did three things, man. Oh, and this had... Oh, so, these things had to make sense to people. You know, uh, this shit hasn't... Uh, this shit hasn't rung true for the faithful for thousands of years. Even being totally obscured and, and obliterated and destroyed and counterfeited and shit. How did this shit still get to me today that I'm trying to explain to you? Because it's the truth, man. So, Jesus' is weed, right? Literally, his, his identity, Yeshua, the Christos, tied up into the chrism itself, the anointing oil. It's got weed in it, okay? Jesus' is weed, the oil, the anointing, okay? But also, um, it's the energy medicine. These two things in the research. So, the apostles did three things, man. They anointed in oil, they healed in his name, which is the energy medicine in the research. And they taught everyone how to do this shit. So they spread the information. Look, we're doing this and this in Jesus' name for political protections, literally. And uh, and they ran with that. You know what I'm saying? And it, you do these acts in truth. You stand in truth. You guys, and grace is provided. Because when you apply these technologies and you have the whole community healed right there and everybody gets it and shit, then grace rushes in. You see, understanding rushes in. And like uh, peace is provided and all that shit, you guys. Okay. That's what I'm saying.
See you, Bronson. I'm gonna go hop on Instagram for a second and smoke a cigarette.